Picture yourself in a crowded room. Everyone's chatting, laughing, networking. You? You're in the corner, nursing your drink. Comfortable in your solitude, but battling a nagging question. Why can't I be more confident? You're not alone, my friend. Welcome, or welcome back, to the Masculine Manifesto. Today, we're facing a stark reality. The introverted man struggle with confidence. In a world that glorifies extroversion, introverted men often find themselves in the crosshairs of misunderstanding and bias. With masculinity tied to dominance and assertiveness, the thoughtful, quiet strength of the introvert can often feel overlooked, even undervalued. But is that the whole truth? Or is there something more beneath the surface? The subject is more than just a talking point. It's vital. It goes right to the heart of how we see ourselves, how we value ourselves, and our place in the world. Today, we're going beyond the superficial. We're on a mission to discover truths that can reshape our self-perception. Let's kick things off by navigating the maze of misconceptions that surround our first truth, the misunderstanding of introversion. Now, when you hear the word introvert, what comes to mind? Someone who dreads public speaking or avoids getting up on stage because they can't handle the spotlight? Well, it's time to debunk these stereotypes. Introversion isn't about fear or dislike of social situations. It's about energy sources. Introverts gain energy from solitude, thriving in spaces that allow for introspection and peace. Many mistake introversion for shyness or even perceive it as a weakness. However, that couldn't be further from the truth. This contrast between what introversion is and what it's perceived to be can cast a shadow of doubt over one's self-perception and confidence. Society's misconstrued lens often paints introverted individuals as the outcasts or the weaker ones. But is an extroverted lion inherently stronger than an introverted wolf? Or do they simply thrive in different environments? Unfortunately, these misconceptions can greatly impact an introvert's self-perception and confidence. Picture this. You're an introvert who wants to become a stand-up comedian. But because society thinks introverts can't handle a spotlight, you begin doubting yourself. You might even limit your potential, staying away from the mic, believing the myth that introverts can't be comedians. But here's the kicker. Some of the best comedians out there are or were introverts. Chris Rock, Louis C.K., Richard Pryor, all introverts. They find unique ways to engage their audience, often through observational humor that stems from their introspective nature. So remember, being an introvert isn't a barrier. It's simply a different way of interacting with the world, with its own strengths and advantages. Shaking off these misconceptions and embracing the true essence of introversion is our first stride towards rebuilding confidence. Are you ready to rewrite the introverted narrative? Now that we've begun rewriting the narrative, let's move on to our second truth, the frequent invalidation of introverted traits. Introverted traits include introspection, thoughtfulness, a strong ability to listen, and a penchant for deeper connections, among others. These traits often foster understanding, empathy, and creativity, valuable in both personal and professional settings. However, in a society that puts a premium on extroverted traits like dominance, assertiveness, and constant social interaction, these introverted strengths can feel underappreciated. Our cultural view of masculinity often aligns more closely with these extroverted traits, inadvertently pushing introverted men to the periphery this persistent bias can chip away at the self-esteem of introverted individuals. When your natural tendencies and strengths are frequently devalued, it can feel like a personal rejection, leading to self-doubt and reduced confidence. But here's the key takeaway. Introverted traits are not inferior, they're just different. Recognizing this is an essential step towards self-validation, a cornerstone of confidence. So let's shift gears and start valuing the strengths that introversion brings to the table, shall we? With the recognition of our unique strengths, we're ready to tread deeper into the introspective terrain of our third truth, the struggle with self-acceptance. 
For many introverted men, self-acceptance is an uphill battle. We live in a world that loudly broadcasts an idealized image of what a man should be. Outgoing, dominant, always ready for social interactions. This societal echo can create a dissonance with an introvert's natural disposition, leading to an internal tug of war. These norms and stereotypes subtly but persistently influence our self-image. If you don't fit into that ideal mold, you might start questioning your worth, which directly impacts your confidence. The path towards improved self-confidence often begins with self-acceptance. It's about acknowledging and valuing who you are as an introverted man. Start by challenging those societal norms that don't resonate with you. Celebrate your strengths and understand that being different doesn't mean being less. Consider practices like meditation and self-affirmation to nurture self-acceptance. Surround yourself with positive influences who appreciate you for who you are, not who they want you to be. Remember, the goal isn't to fit into a mold, but to shatter it and create your own. With the embrace of self-acceptance, we're primed to delve into our fourth truth, one that many of us are guilty of, neglecting personal strengths. It's not uncommon for introverts to overlook their own strengths. In a world that's seemingly engineered for extroverts, introverted qualities can often feel like they don't measure up, when in fact, they are just as valuable. Introverts tend to excel at empathy, listening, deep thinking, and fostering meaningful connections. These aren't just nice-to-haves, they're potent skills in their own right, equally valuable in the workplace and personal relationships. A good listener can understand others better, offer insightful feedback, and foster strong bonds. A deep thinker can bring unique perspectives and innovative solutions to the table. Yet, many introverts underplay these strengths, leading to a decrease in self-esteem and confidence. Instead, what if we started acknowledging and utilizing these qualities? What if you approached a networking event not as a chance to give a crowd-winning speech, but as an opportunity to form one meaningful connection? Or a team meeting as a chance to offer well-thought-out insights rather than a flurry of ideas? The more you recognize and utilize your strengths, the more your confidence will bloom. Having uncovered our hidden superpowers Let's venture into the final, crucial truth that often eludes us. The failure to establish boundaries. Boundaries are fundamental to healthy relationships and self-respect, both of which are tightly intertwined with confidence. Yet, for many introverts, setting boundaries can feel like an insurmountable hurdle. This may stem from a desire to please others, avoid conflict, or the fear of coming off as selfish or rude. However, failing to set boundaries can lead to burnout and resentment, which erodes self-esteem and confidence over time. It's important to remember that boundaries aren't about pushing people away. They're about respecting and taking care of yourself. So, how can introverted men get better at setting boundaries? Start small. Practice saying no to small things first. Make sure to communicate your boundaries clearly and assertively, not aggressively. Remember, it's not just about setting boundaries, it's about maintaining them. You might face resistance, but stay firm and remind yourself that your well-being matters. With the right boundaries in place, you'll find your self-respect and confidence soaring. And now, it's your turn. Take a moment to reflect on these truths, see how they resonate with you, and commit to one small action today to boost your confidence. Together, let's rewrite the introvert's narrative.